Hey you folks, how's it going? Today we are talking about a game that comes in a box, which I've wanted to speak about this game for a long time. This is Magical Kitties Save the Day by Matthew J. Hansen. Magical Kitties doesn't have a fixed setting. Rather, you're a cat, you have magical powers, and you have a human. This human might be someone you live with, or someone you just care about. When there's trouble afoot, or should I say a paw, you and your fellow feline friends are going to jump into action to make things right. Magical Kitty Save the Day is a more traditional tabletop role-playing game. The game is generally designed to be played with a game master and roughly one to six players. This base game does however come with a solo adventure that you can try out. The game manual for this game takes you through character creation step by step. The first part is creating the cosmetic details of your kitty. A name, where they live, what do they look like, where did they come from and what's their personality. Then you do your best doodle of your kitty. It doesn't have to be good, it's about having fun. Every kitty has an hourly limit of two. This is how much damage your kitty can take before becoming incapacitated. Then each kitty starts with two kitty treats, which can be tracked using tokens that are included with the game. Every kitty has three attributes, cute, cunning and fierce. Using a d6 you can roll to decide which one is going to be your highest attribute. Your highest is a 3, your median 2 and your lowest 1. Each kitty then gets a talent. You can either roll for it on the table or pick one that appeals to you the best. There's also a table for flaws as well. While these flaws might not lead to the most optimized role playing experience, they're there to make the kitties a bit more interesting and fun. I think the flaws are a great way to encourage people to embrace the role-playing experience of being a cat. Goodness knows I've never met a cat that's efficient. You then get a magical power for your kitty. There are plenty to choose from, from laser eyes to flight to so many more. These powers are pretty dang powerful and just a heap of fun to play around with. The last stages of character creation are about your human. What are they like and worryingly for you, what are their problems? Players can use the tables provided to generate a problem for their human or make up their own. An example problem would be for a child being bullied at school. The hometowns where your kitty resides can also have problems, both big and small. Many adventures will revolve around the kitties trying to solve their human or town's problems on big and small scales. Sometimes these problems will take more than one session to solve, and a session is generally going to focus on one human or one of the town's problems rather than tackling them all at once. This definitely creates plenty of opportunities for game masters and players alike to have an ongoing campaign that is a lot of fun with a lot of opportunities for different stories to be told. This is a dice pulling game. To perform an action, a player will roll the number of dice that they have for an attribute with any bonuses or penalties they might have incurred. If they match the difficulty threshold set by the game master, that is what a success. Three is considered an easy while six is very hard. The number of successes you get will determine how well things go. If you roll more successes than the number prescribed, better things could happen. If you don't get enough successes, you can use a kitty treat to re-roll the die. If you get at the bare minimum number of successes, you will succeed at the action, but there might be a cost that is incurred, like taking on an owie. The owies that are experienced by the kitties in game are pretty lightweight. The rules say that all owies are cured at the end of the scene. Kitty treats are also similarly given out pretty freely. Players are welcome to attempt an action as many times as they like with the die, even if they have to change up what they're doing in game to keep things interesting. Kitties can also level up and improve their character by gaining experience. Experience. experience is gained when at the end of the session the game master and the players get together to answer some questions about the session. If they fulfilled the requirements they gain experience. 
Experience can turn into leveling up and improving the character. All of the mechanics of this game are pretty low-key and freeform. I can definitely see that this is a game that is designed with a younger audience in mind. The penalties are short-lived and the victories in this game are designed to be celebrated and enjoyed. I also think having terms like kitty treats and owies is just really adorable. The box that you get for this game is a bit emptier than expected. I think this is to create room for some of the expansions you can purchase for the game and some of the other components that are sold separately. This is pretty common in the board game world and I see it a little in the tabletop role playing game world. You get character sheets, d6s, some tokens, the rule book a group adventure for you to play together and a solo adventure that is played with a visual novel. I think you can create a lot of hours of fun play with just the stuff supplied in this box. You also get potential adventure prompts and adversaries and non-player characters that your players can go up against. With everything that is just in the rulebook, the pre-written adventures just feel like a really nice bonus. I paid about $45 for my copy of this game and I definitely think it was worthwhile. I have reviewed in the past a fair number of games which I think would be suitable to introduce a younger audience to tabletop role-playing games. I certainly think Magical Kitties Save the Day is one that would be on that list. For young players, it's a moderately complex game. For adult players of tabletop role-playing games, it's a very light and fluffy experience. I think for a gaming group that is looking for a lighter gaming experience, this would be pretty much towards the top of my list of games to suggest. It certainly would work as a one-shot, but there's plenty there for an ongoing campaign, which I think makes a nice change from a lot of lighter flavoured games. I really like that there are modules available to this game, but they're not essential for continued gameplay. The base box with the rules and the tokens and the dice is pretty much everything you need to play. I will say I am keen to check out the Kitties on Mars colony sometime. It just seems like a fun and quirky idea. So those were my thoughts on Magical Kitties Save the Day. I think if my cat had a magical power, it would be super sleeping. Do you have a cat in your life? What would their superpower be? Or any animal actually? Let me know in a comment down below. If you enjoyed today's video, I encourage you to like and subscribe, maybe share with a friend. It just encourages me to keep going. I hope you're all well and I'll see you next time at the gaming table. Bye!